Hi, Super Spruce here, back with another Antimera Dimensions Reality Update video, episode 26. And you can see I have gone 86 or 87 million infinity points and the Don't You Dare Sleep achievement. So there's that. And, well, there isn't much else other than the pure infinity points. I can get two more of these multipliers and a few upgrades in the break infinity things such as the uh, this I don't know why this is a hundred mils wait it, yeah it's because it's just this because slowest challenge runs don't actually reset so I'm gonna get both of these I still want to be a little bit picky about what I get because I really want to get infinity dimensions and that costs e8 infinity points so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna start buying dimension boosts just to see how far I can get. I want to get the next galaxy. And yeah, there we go. Unlock a new infinity dimension. That was not even hard. Maybe we can get another galaxy. Uh, doesn't look like I need 500 eighth dimensions. Just not quite there yet. I need, I don't know, probably somewhere in the around E1200 range. So maybe I shouldn't have bought some of those upgrades. Because yes, this is 5e5, but that's not that much in the grand scheme of things. I gotta just do it like this. It looks like the best strategy is around 8e4 infinity points. So I'll do it like this and start the auto crunch. And that really is all I can do because it's just a grind to get infinity dimensions at this point so it looks like I'm getting around 2.8 e6 infinity points per minute so that means it'll take about okay well I was gonna say 35 40 minutes but I'm already two-thirds of the way there so probably between 10 and 15 minutes to get to the infinite to actually to actually get the enough infinity points to actually use the infinity dimension so yeah see in a bit okay i'm back like a couple hours later because i was in the wrong tab so that's kind of painful and i now have a hundred million infinity points so this means i can get the first infinity dimension and get a new beginning achievement so this should hopefully allow me to go just get a lot more infinity points because yeah, I can get like E6 in a single run, which is pretty crazy. And I can, I'm doing this with eight antimatter galaxies. So now I can start going for, I guess, some more upgrades here. There's the reduced post infinity tick speed cost multiplier scaling, which is not really that useful early on, but it'll eventually get better and better. Eventually, well, I already have the challenge run basically maxed out, so there's not really much I can do there. The next doubler is also at E8 infinity points, so not much I can do there either. I could do something like reduced reduced post infinity antimatter intervention cost multiplier scaling, which will it's not gonna be very powerful, but it'll allow me to get the galaxy slightly quicker. So that's what I'm gonna do. Also going to get some passive infinity point generation that works offline so or off online and offline so that I won't have to deal with just my progression not happening anymore and there isn't really any good upgrade there's the passive infinities upgrade which could be okay because of how like the I, I wonder how many infinities I have I have about 8400 and the reason why I'm getting more infinities, I'm finding out, it's it's because of the reality upgrade. I don't know why I didn't really put this into effect. So there's that. I should pro yeah, I can go into this, get this upgrade. I can probably start doing just really fast crunches here. And that also gets me blink of an eye. So that's that's pretty cool. Probably doing somewhere around what is this? Um, my fastest infinity is 131 milliseconds, so something like that. Probably taking about a sixth of a second to do every infinity. So that's just going to help me get more infinities, which will boost some of the upgrades, most notably these. 
And then there's also the other one that's based on infinity, such as this one. It's not really that powerful, but hey, it's something. And then I don't really know what else I can do. I could do something like, for example, I could try to get dimension boosts and then try to unlock the second infinity dimension, even though I don't think that I'm going to actually get there. I will get to another galaxy, so that's pretty nice. But I'm only at E1630 something antimatter, so I'm not quite to the next um, infinity dimension. I can, doing this, I can get two E7 infinity points, so maybe, might just maybe, it's if I can do something like galaxies required to always dimension boost, I can do something like this. Or if I get eight galaxies, I can just dimension boost and just keep going. And I wonder if this makes things faster. It look it looks like it does actually make things a little bit faster. I'm getting about five E7 a minute doing it this way versus if I was not doing it this way. Actually, I'm getting even more. I'm getting seven E7. If I don't do it this way, I get... Why? Oh, I'm st I still have this going. Um, that's why. If I don't do it this way, I get about 4 E7. So that means this is not normal. I think it's because the dimension boosts are not reset when I get a galaxy. So I just found this new little trick, which you don't normally do. It's interesting. There isn't much else I can do. I just keep getting these runs. One more run will get me another infinity point multiplier so that's what i'm gonna go for here so here we go 1.57 so there's infinity point multiplier uh, next up is probably just more of these upgrades there isn't really all that much interesting between now and like the second infinity dimension i i got another achievement because of E8 infinity points per minute. Maybe I should try to go for this is fine now. And that gets me another row. I can probably also get zero deaths. So I, I'm just going to pause my auto buyers, do this, enter some of the challenges. I'll enter challenge nine first. Um, it's probably just going to be a joke. I'm not, I'm not even doing it quickly. But once I get enough dimensions, I, I should just hold M, honestly. Boom. Big crunch. Get this is fine, which gets me a whole other row of achievements, and it gets me this little reward, which is nice. Next up is zero deaths, which is I need an affinity without dimension boost or antimatter galaxies while in normal challenge. So I can just do challenge eleven. That's probably the easiest. Just hold M and boom, there we go. And uh, now I can just exit the challenges. There isn't any other achievements I can really get at this point of the game. Just turn back on my automation and start trying to get more upgrades. So I now have 2.5 E8 infinity points. It's enough to get this upgrade and that upgrade. It's really not affecting much. This is just helping passive infinity point generation. It's going to double that. And these tick speed multiplier upgrades are still pretty weak. I'm still only getting up to around the E1620s or 1630s. And yeah, this upgrade this upgrade's really weak until the last couple, where they start getting much stronger. And the this upgrade is like this, except on steroids. Now another upgrade I really want to get soon is unlock by max um, dimension boost auto buyer mode. It's it used to be ability to bulk buy dimension boost, but now it's even better. It's what the milestone used to be, where you just buy max, however it is. Which makes you think, what is the attorney milestone that replaces it? I think it was, I think it was like eight or something. And because I don't remember start attorney with all break and bending upgrades being so early. I remember that being like, yeah, that was like 20 before. And then I guess it just got removed. Which is interesting. That means there's just a big gap from 18 all the way to 25. So I think I want to go for a automation run here. It looks like somewhere around 3.5 E7 is the best. So that's, that's what I'm going to do. 3.5 E7 infinity points. 
turn it on and then just let it go for a while so yeah see in a bit okay i'm back like another hour ish later and i have 6.6 .6 e9 infinity points so this is enough to get an infinity point doubler a um an, and this upgrade unlock the buy max dimension boost auto buyer mode so this is going to be huge for just getting more infinity points so now when i go back to my automation it is just activates every point one second so it's gonna take me from 1.8 e8 per second all the way to about e or not per second e8 per minute except that this auto buyer is now not optimized anymore so now the runs are just a lot quicker. It's about 4 E7 per run. So that's it's pretty good. But there is one thing I do want to go for that I'm just not quite to yet. And that is the second infinity dimension. Because I'm actually able to afford it once I get the E1900 antimatter. So how close am I to another galaxy? I am still 30 8th dimensions away. That's actually disappointing. However, the first infinity dimension is really helping me, and I'm up to E1680 antimatter. Shouldn't be too, too bad. We'll see about this. So here's another dimension boost. It's not really going to do much. Um, E1745, so I probably need about E1800 antimatter to unlock the next infinity dimension, which is making me think maybe I should get this upgrade. Unlock, or reduce the post infinity tick speed scaling. This should hopefully get me at least a little bit farther. But yeah, it's gonna actually take a while. So seen a bit. Okay, I just got the galaxy at, it was 5E1800 and I just need to get to E1900 to unlock the next infinity dimension. And yeah, 99.99% .99 and boom, there we go. Next infinity dimension and it's gonna cost one E9 infinity points. So this means that, well, it's not really gonna do much for this run, but future runs are gonna be a lot faster. So let, let's see what we can do now with this strat. Yeah, 1.3 E9 infinity points per minute. So, I guess it looks like it peaks somewhere around the, what was that, 1.2 E8? About 1.0 E8, actually. So that's what I'm going to do. 1 E8 infinity points, and then I'm just going to grind even more infinity points. I'm going to get the doublers off camera because they're kind of, they're the same thing over and over again. Same with these upgrades. They just increase passive infinity point generation and are not really very interesting, but they really do help with the infinity point grinding. So, yeah, see you in another bit. Okay, so it's been another hour or two, maybe, and I'm up to 1 E11 infinity points. I got the doublers, but nothing... I got the doublers and these upgrades, but nothing else. And I can get another first infinity to mention this this will boost this by another 50 times, which is pretty powerful because of how powerful the infinity, infinity dimensions are. And I can also reduce the post-infinity antimatter dimension cost scaling from 9 to 8. This will help get me more galaxies, and I can get two of the tick speed ones. I probably should try to get the 7.8 E10 upgrade as well. That might be a little bit rough to get. Let's see how far I can get now. So it looks like the optimal point is somewhere in the E9s now. So looks like, what is this? Like 3.4 E9 infinity points. So that's what I'm going to do. Here we go. And this will get me the final one of these upgrades until, well, yeah, the final one of these upgrades. And the next upgrade I'm going to get after that is... The all galaxies are 50% stronger upgrade, which is by far the most powerful upgrade out of all of these. So now I can get, after waiting just a minute, I can get the last one of the tick speed scaling upgrade. So I probably want to try a different point to get infinity points. It looks like it's about 
fix E9 now, so that you can see the later upgrades do actually help a decent amount. Which is probably more like 5.5 E9. This gets me about 6.9 E10 infinity points per minute, which is enough to get the galaxy upgrade in under 10 minutes. So that's actually pretty good. So that's where I'm going to leave the episode. Next episode, things will start inflating. And yeah, hope you enjoyed. Peace out. Thank you.